Welcome to part three of Harmon Files. If you haven't seen the first two parts, well, you should probably go back and watch them, but let me catch you up real quick. Berkeley County, West Virginia Sheriff Nathan Harmon allegedly covered up his daughter Carrie's drunk driving and destruction of property. Nathan and Carrie deny this, make a bunch of claims proving their innocence, and their claims are immediately debunked by eyewitnesses, their own family, and even their own words. You know, you ask them more than once what happened, so how much does that change? Yeah, you definitely should stop speaking without your attorney present. Nathan's lies and inconsistencies have created such a public outcry that the Berkeley County prosecutor has appointed a special prosecutor to investigate him. And speaking of investigations, while I and my organization, You Are the Power, were investigating this incident, multiple residents of Berkeley County brought something to my attention that is much worse. An allegation made three years ago by Berkeley County's former sheriff, William Randy Smith, against former West Virginia State Trooper Nathan Harmon, who was running for sheriff. See, in 2020, before the election where Nathan was elected sheriff, Randy wrote a letter warning Berkeley County voters about him and asking them what Nathan has to hide. In this letter, Randy alleges that while he was sheriff, he discovered that Nathan was conducting an investigation into him. So Randy went to West Virginia State Police Headquarters and literally asked Nathan in front of his superiors how he and the Berkeley County Sheriff's Department can help Nathan in his investigation. Nathan stood there embarrassed and said nothing. Shortly after, Nathan's superiors put him on desk duty and ordered him to halt his false investigation. Instead, Randy says that Nathan took two people on two separate occasions to an abandoned way station and tried to coerce them into testifying against Randy. They both refused and went to Randy to tell him what happened, so Randy had one of them call Nathan from Randy's office, where Randy heard and recorded Nathan confirm that he had illegally interrogated and coerced him. Randy sent that recording over to state police, and after an internal investigation, Nathan was no longer employed by them. When Randy brought up these allegations during a candidate's forum, Nathan and his supporters said the question was personal, so the moderator shut down the entire forum. Randy claims he has offered multiple times to discuss this publicly with Nathan, and Nathan has always refused. If this is true, it means that Nathan has been illegally abusing his authority for years, long before Carrie's alleged drunk driving incident and long before Nathan was even sheriff. Hopefully the special prosecutor is investigating these allegations as well. We shall see. In the meantime, if anyone watching this has any information about Nathan Harmon that they would like to share anonymously, reach out to me. With your help, we can get to the bottom of this and get justice. I will keep you all updated as more is revealed. So until next time, love y'all.